Okay, so good morning, viewers, good uh, afternoon, good evening, whichever session that you are in. For those who do not know me, I am Teacher Mvanga. And uh, this is a recorded video on a math topic. <coughs> math. Math Paper 1, uh, Zambian Syllabus D, uh, on a topic called Inequalities. Inequalities. We had started this topic with my online students already, so it is just a continuation video, but let me just highlight things that are... Uh, are being set up under this topic. So, this uh, inequality, it comes like this in a, a mathematics uh, paper one, when they bring, if, if this is a Zambian syllabus, in most cases it comes on question 21, sometimes question 22, sometimes 20, but I've normally seen it on question uh, 21 so if i check nicely here uh, if i tap in on the on the zambian past papers i want to show you <coughs> i want to show you how Yes, I wanted it to rotate. I want to show you how these questions appear on inequalities. So you can pick any paper. If we were to pick paper one, let's just allow this uh, advert to disappear. Okay. So, just flip to question number 21, you will be able to find this uh, question. Uh -huh. You've seen question 21, it is there. They are saying write three inequalities that define the unshaded region R on the diagram below. So, this is how questions come under inequality and it carries... Uh, five marks. If we were to look at the marks down here, it is uh, five marks. If we were to look at another question, let's say we pick from a lower when the time they change the syllabus, we had something like this. So those are just adverts. <coughs> I flip to question 21 of this question paper. This is 23, 22, 21. Here I have this uh, question. So please take note of these questions. You can pause them. You can pause them and then copy them so that when we get to solving, you'll be able to see what we are uh, doing. So you can just copy it. I'll show you three of them. Uh, if you can't see, let me rotate it in this manner so that you're able to see. I'll view for you. If I zoom, it will appear something like this. This is, this is the first exercise I've given my online students to try. We did three lines. We now want to look at the last line, which is bend here on top here. This line that I'm viewing here, this line which is bend, the line that is in dotted, that's the one that we had remained with. So my online students for this year, 2023, 20, Madame Selena, Madame Jen, and Madame Michelle, 
please this is a question that i want us to discuss first then we can go on so i said i'll show those three uh, let's check for another one i don't know why it has gone far if we check for another paper like random any paper we check for any paper should be one 2018 let's wait for this advert to disappear to just go to question uh, 21 you will find again inequalities this is inequality this is how questions come on the x or y plane below region r is unshaded so they want us to write three inequalities that define region r so try all these questions after learning uh, or after watching this video <coughs> to be able to assist you so let's get to the board so that you now see what we are doing okay so let's get to to the solving board let me just clear these things so my hope is uh, it has rotated this thing. Uh -huh, yes, it has rotated. So we um so under inequalities, under in under under inequalities those questions that i just showed you you must be able to take note that there are lines which are dotted like this or it can be like this or it can be standing like this those lines are represented by a sign called less sign or they can be represented by a greater sign <coughs> So to have a bit of irritation on my throat, I don't know for that. So it's either this line you use this, you use this, you use this, you use that. So those small symbol signs they represent uh, the broken lines and the like. Then we also we also have a solid line. We can have a solid line like this. Uh, we can also have a solid line like this. We can also have a solid line like this. We can also have a solid line like this. All the solid line under this topic represents less or equal to greater or equal to less or equal to greater or equal to less or equal to greater or equal to less or equal to greater or equal to. So the big signs are for the solid lines which are not broken. And then as we go on, we shall be able to know if a line is shaded like this, with the shadings going this side. We know that this is a solid line. We can either use this sign or that sign. There's a Mubanga's method here to use. Mubanga's method states that if the lines or the shadings are facing to the left for the line that is upright, even the, the sign to use will also face to the left. So for this line, for this line, the shadings are facing to the right. And the sign will also follow to the right, like that. So this is the sign to use for this line. So take note of Mwanga's method. It states that for the line that is upright straight like this, where the shadings are facing is where the sign will face. So in this case, my sign will face this side. So if I had a broken one and the shadings are going this side, my sign will also face the same direction with the single sign because it is broken. The same method of Mvanga's method states that if the line is bent like this, and then 
you should always rotate the line clockwise. If you rotate this line clockwise, it will meaning clockwise means you start taking the line this side. That's what clockwise means. You hold it, start taking it this side. It will stand like this. You have to make it stand. So the signs will the shadings will still be this side and the sign will be this side. So if I had this, if I start rotating it clockwise, it will stand. The shading, the shading will be this side, and the sign will also be this side. My method is very straightforward, okay? And then uh, it can also sleep like this. <clears throat> as long as it's not upright, you rotate it clockwise. You make it stand, it will be like this. So the shading will be this side. So if it was broken, with shadings upward, you still rotate it clockwise. You make it stand, it will be like that, meaning the shading or the sign will be this side. So those are the things to take note. Now, answering the question for 2016, the one that I had shown you, uh, they drew something like this. They had drawn something like this. There was a, a Y here. This was the X, this was the Y, and then they drew, they, there's a line that was cutting on two, there was a four here, there was a two, there was a four, there was a six, there was a eight. So there's a line that was cutting here, it was going downward. And there's a line that was cutting going this side. There's another line which cut this point. It was going upward. And then there is a line that had cut, I think, somewhere here. Now this line is dotted. The line is dotted for this one. It was something like this. He had even shaded with an R. So they want us to identify the inequalities. They want us to identify the inequalities. So we're going to start with this line. This line, so any line can start as an inequality. Any line can begin <coughs> as an inequality. So inequality number one. Inequality number one. It's X because it's cutting on line X. As you can see, it's cutting on line X. So this line is cutting on 2. So we have to say, by the way, the shadings are facing to the, to the left-hand side, and this line is straight. Using the Mvanga's method, if the line is already upright, where the shadings are facing, it is where the sign will face as well. So meaning we have to write greater or equal to because it is solid with a 2. So meaning that's the answer for inequality number 1. If you didn't get that, I said you check where the line is cutting. Is it cutting on line X or it's cutting on line Y? So it's cutting on line X, that's why I have the X here. It's cutting on the number 2, that's why I have a 2. The sign is a bigger sign, double, because it is a solid and it is facing to the left because it is to the left. There are many methods to use also. If you use in the, in the long run or progress, they will use the testing method for region R. I don't know which one is better. You can also use the method of uh, taking the wanted region, okay? Meaning they want the greater part. If you see the side that is not shaded here, it is a greater part, so that's what we want. But yeah, just the Mwanga's method is very straightforward and uh, precise. Okay, and then uh, we've got this method. I mean, oh, yes, so, so that we've got this line here. This line is uh, cutting on six and eight. This line here. So it is cutting on 7, check properly. It's exact in between 6 and 8, so it's cutting on 7. And we are underlined Y. This is Y. So we are writing to say Y. If you check, first of all, Y7, 
the sign this line is bent so you have to start rotating it this clockwise clockwise so clockwise means you hold this start taking it to this side so the signs are facing the side you done so why why because it's cutting on line why why seven because it's cutting on seven and why this sign because it is it is uh because they are looking for less numbers so the part that is not shaded is the answer they are looking for less numbers or it's facing to the right that's why we've used this sign called less or equal to and then the last sign the last that's what i want to talk about when the line is not cutting properly like you can't see the numbers where it is cutting uh, or when it's cutting two numbers let's say this number and this number that is the part i want you to pay very much attention especially the online students who have made this video for but others have benefited as well now um the last one is um this line let me circle it in red this line so you have to always get uh, to money you always have to get two coordinates from this line you get two coordinates and then in this case we can get uh, let me just go back to the original numbers the original so that you see what exactly are we talking about so we are under that's 2016 i am solving so let me just check the 2016 let me just check 2016 again Twenty sixteen, let me just look for it. It's on twenty sixteen it's here. Twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen paper one is here. You just wait for the ad to go <clears throat> okay so the question is here yes so if we look at the property you need to get two numbers from here so i'll get this eight where i've zoomed this eight down here and then i'll also get uh, this number here which is uh, four so i'll get 8,4 we are getting along the same dotted line two numbers down here it's 8 along this same line on top here you will find a, a blackish line there called 4 which is you get any figures there's no problem as long as they are on the same dotted line so i'm getting 8,4 and i'll also get 6,6 because i can see this is six going on top here to give me a six on the other side so this is what i mean let me get back to my solving board so that i make you understand so you've seen where the eight was the eight was uh, let me just erase this the eight was here so you get numbers along this line, along this line. So I'm getting 8,4. Uh, there was a 4 here. There was a 4 here. 
that is along this line, 8,4. So I'll write in here 8,4. <coughs> I will also get another one. There was a 6 here. So I had gotten 6,6 6 somewhere here. So it's like you get here, you also get this side. You get a number here down, you also get another number this side. That's what we are doing. So here I'm getting 6,6. 6. Once you do that, you can now solve the, the question with the way we are going to do it. So, um, let me just erase this. Now me to erase this. So let me just erase this. So let me push these numbers on top here. I have 8,4, I have 6,6. 6. Remember, you can get any numbers. You should name these numbers x, y, x, y, 1, 1, 2, 2. Now, there is the, you can either use the formula for equation of the straight line, y is equals to mx plus c. Uh, find the gradient, find the C, uh, yeah. But normally for my student, making it easier in Zambia, I use this one. Y, Y2 minus uh, Y, Y minus Y1. X, Y, <coughs> intercept 1. Y minus Y1 over Y2 minus Y1 is equals to X2 minus, I mean, sorry, X minus X1. It's been a while since I used this formula, X2 minus X1. That one, it will be very easy for you. You will not be able to have challenges with it. So... Let's indicate now the figures using what you have here. So your Y, there is nothing labeled Y here. All, the, all of them, they have 1, 1, 2, 2. So Y remains Y. Y1 in this case is 6. At the bottom, Y2, y, uh, Y1, sorry, is 4. Y1 is 4. And then y2 is 6 My space down here is failing me Let me try to write it here this side So um, our y is still y Our y1 is 4 Our y2 is 6 Our y1 is 4 our x is just x. Our x1 is 8. Our x2 is 6. Our x1 is 8. So you now carry on. So this formula you must master it because no one will be able to give it to you. It must be mastered. And then now, um, we just simplify you just simplify this expression and indicate the sign. So let's simplify this expression. Y minus Y4, it is still Y minus 4 because those are like terms. At the bottom, 6 minus 4, it's a 2. And then on top, it's X minus 4. Those are like terms. At the bottom, it's negative 2. So when you reach here, you cross multiply. <coughs> you cross multiply. So you can start with whichever way. You can start with this and this. They are multiplying to give you a negative 2y plus 8 it gives you a 2 minus 16. We're almost. Then... Uh, 
if we further simplify this, it will give us negative negative 2y. So this, all the numbers must go to the other side. No number should remain on the left hand side. So here it's like we have 18 minus 16 minus 8. So negative 2y is equals to uh, 2 minus, there are no calculators, it's paper 1. So 2 minus 16, it will give you negative 14. Negative 14 minus 8, so this continues. Negative 14 minus 8, it will give you negative 22. <coughs> okay. Negative 22. Where is x? Where is x? I was supposed to have x here. 2x. So this is supposed to be... Let me restart a bit. Let me restart a bit on the cross multiplication. You've seen you have to be very careful with the cross multiplication here. Once you mess up, you're gone. So here we said negative 2. There was a 2 here. There was a negative 2. So we are saying negative 2 times this. It's negative 2y. And then here it's plus 8. So this 2 is multiplying the x to give you 2x. And then this 2 is multiplying this to give you negative 16. Uh -huh. So now this 8 will go this side. So we have negative 2y equals 2x minus 16 minus 8. So here we've got minus 8. So negative 2y equals 2x. So now here, minus 16 minus 8 gives you negative 24. Always you divide by the number in front of uh, y. You always divide throughout. So what you have now is your final answer. So what you have is your final answer. So we have y equals negative we have negative x because you cancel this and this so it will give you negative x and then post negative times negative to give you a positive 12 so finally now you indicate the coming 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 Finally now, you indicate the, the sign. If you saw the line, okay, I will, I will write for you. This is favor. favor. <coughs> Finally, yes, you can go. I will write for you. So finally now, if you had observed the line, it, was, it had... Um, it had it had a line which was dotted like this and the shadings were facing this side so the sign we are using is this minus x plus 12 we have solved this question so before i go uh, next time they will give you something like this maybe the line is cutting on two and four and there's a zero here so as long as the line is cutting on two numbers or it's bent like this or like this, you should always get two brackets. One bracket here, one bracket here. So here it's clearly cutting on two. So you're writing two comma zero. And then here it's cutting on four, but this is a Y. So you can't write it here. You have to write it here. Because this means X, Y, X, why so in this case your your x is zero 
So always this number comma zero, and then this number it is zero comma this number. So if we had, then you apply the formula that we've talked about: y minus y one over y two minus y one equals x minus x one over x two minus x one, and proceed everything. The sign will face this side. If in an event you had something like this, this is x y. The line is cut in this side. If this is negative three, if this is six, same thing. You collect. There it's negative three comma zero. Here it is zero comma six. Just like that. Apply whatsoever you have. If you have this line x y, if this line is shaded, this is zero. It is always x. You do the opposite. This line is e x less or equal to i mean less x is greater or equal to zero and then if you have this line shaded here for x you do the opposite this line is always y greater or equal to zero so thank you so much for watching this video lastly check out these um, <coughs> check out these questions you should screenshot them screenshot these uh, questions that i am beaming on my screen here uh, try them and send them to my inbox on whatsapp we can bring them to Hukanzi academy school so you should try out these questions uh, from 2017 all the way to to the year that you are in if you are in 2024 you can go ahead and do so this one we've done it uh, you can try this one 2017 gce so so fast papers if you are in 2023 you can try questions from 2016 to 2022 mm. In the year twenty zero, in the year so be able to see if possible. Let me rotate this so that you see. Mm -hmm. So this is a question I want you to try. It's here. Write for inequalities. So this is an inequality. There it is nicely. There it is. If you can't see in this view, let me rotate for you in this view. That's the view that you need to try. See the numbers clearly. You can see the numbers clearly. If you... The last one I'm beaming is 20... 2021 GCE. 2021 GCE. Let me see 2021. So otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you understand what is being done. Question 21, as you can see, there it is. You can solve those questions without difficulties. You can solve those questions without difficulties. And then there was also a bit tricky. They had brought 2020, I think, GCE. Uh, try that as well. Let me just allow this to be done. Okay, this is um, 2020. Yes, this is a question. You can try this question in your free time. That's the question. You should write the inequalities. So if you can see in this view, let me rotate in this view. Uh -huh. So this is a view that maybe you can see. They had given you letters and numbers, so it's you to indicate those letters and numbers there. So that's about it. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Uh,
wonderful day. Ndi changu anga for you.